Here's another example. This one is a little bit more involved. Suppose you drive 18 miles in 23 minutes and then you hit a traffic jam and you only drive 7 miles in the next 19 minutes. What is your average speed? Okay, the formula, and I'll abbreviate here, average speed is distance over time. Well, if we want to find the average speed, and we're talking about the average speed for the whole trip, then we need to put in the distance for the whole trip and the time for the whole trip. And then we'll divide the two, the distance divided by the time. But first we have to get the total distance and then the total time. So let's do each of those, the total distance first. That will be the 18 miles that we went before we hit the traffic and the seven miles that we went after we hit the traffic. So for distance up here in the numerator, I'll put 18 miles plus seven miles. That will be divided by the time. The time will be the 23 minutes that we spent going relatively fast and then the 19 minutes we spent in the traffic jam. So the time down here is 23 minutes plus 19 minutes. We need to compute each of these and then do the division here. So first up top 18 miles plus 7 miles that adds up to 25 miles and on the bottom 23 minutes plus 19 minutes adds up to 42 minutes so 25 divided by 42 comes out to approximately equal to and this uh, kind of wavy equal sign like that means approximately equal to approximately equal to 0.6 and notice the units we have miles per minute. 0.6 miles per minute. Now, miles per minute is not a very common unit for speed, but it should make sense. The concept is that we go this far, 0.6 miles each minute, and that's on average because we computed the average speed. So it tells us how many miles are covered each minute on average. Miles is a unit for distance, minutes is a unit for time. Dividing miles by minute gives us miles per minute which is a unit for speed.